Hello and welcome to a too good to go what I eat in a day I guess just only eating too good to go foods for the whole day which I think is really good if you don't know what too good to go is it's an app that you can get on your phone and you can get like leftovers from restaurants from like Starbucks spa anything like that and yeah anything that's not sold that day might be going out of date and um, you can get it and help save food waste basically and I think that's a really good idea so it's Thursday night and I'm going to be doing this like challenge tomorrow but I'm going to get it all right now because I work and I can't be running around all day tomorrow <laughs> trying to find these places but yeah I've got four bags in total um and I'm hoping that I can just have something for like I don't know each meal I'm not gonna lie I don't really know what I'm gonna get though so we'll see we'll see if we can do this and hopefully we can but yeah, let's go and pick up our things. I've got two from Starbucks and then two from a local pub. Well, I say local, it's probably about 30, 40 minutes away. It's one of the plum tree farms. But yeah, they do really good cakes. And if they've not cancelled on me, because Toby Carvery cancelled on me, Starbucks, um, two different Starbucks have cancelled. I'm going to one that I've never been to before. So yeah, it's been a mess, but I really want to do this video because I feel like it's a really good thing. And if you live near a lot of places like Starbucks, Costa, like even Morrison's, booze like so many places do this i think it's such a good thing so yeah let's get into it i've got all the goods wow. yeah there's like a honey chicken and honey barbecue panini i've never heard of that from starbucks before oh you like that yeah mm. picked up from the pub and we also got hot chocolates just while we wait, but it's really good they let it let us have it 45 minutes early. <laughs> yeah. I can't even explain how much stuff Percy we actually got, and I think all this was around 14 pounds, but I will work it out at the end. But I'm gonna show you everything. Sorry, the washing machine's on every time I film. The washing machine's on. Percy! You're having a good smell! <laughs> also, my mum got me this from BM. How cute is this? Not related, but I'm sorry. That is so cute. That is the most annoying sound in the world. But let's let's go through what we got. I'll try and be louder than that, so. How cute is the bag? This is really annoying me. How cute is that? I don't know if this is a better angle, but so. We went to one Starbucks. Starbucks, two Starbucks has cancelled my order. So this is the third one I had to go to. And I got two bags. I got, I think one of them was called like special mix or something like that, where it was <laughs> for £4.50. And then I got another one for £2.90 or, I know, that's a lie. It was £3.30 and that was all pastries. You want a good sniff? I think this is the bag of pastries. So I will go through this one first. This is so good for £4.50 in my opinion. Just get it all out. So five things came. So I feel like obviously for £4.50 it would probably be one of these if you actually were to just get it like as a meal. So we got tomato and mozzarella panini which love uh, mango and pineapple overnight oats which looks really nice i think i'll let my mum have that one though smoked bacon roll we got this in the last bag this sounds really nice chicken and honey barbecue panini and then this really surprised me i'm really excited to try this a beyond meat breakfast sandwich which i can have in the morning as a vegetarian which i'm really excited about but yeah owen can have the meat stuff and i'll probably give some to my dad as well because we got so much stuff so we got um five pastries for three pound 30 which i think is amazing they put the labels on everything which is so good so we got a chocolate brownie blueberry muffin pano chocolat uh lemon and poppy seed muffin and a hazelnut bream brookie which is like a brownie cookie i'm gonna have a proper sniff how good is that though like pan au chocolat there's one of the muffins the other muffin 
I buy all that for £3.30, like, there's the brownie, oh, I can't really see that, a little brownie, and then the brookie, which I'm not going to lie, looks the nicest, I feel like me and Owen will be fighting over that, well, probably half it, because, you know, but yeah, that's everything from Starbucks, so £3.34, five cakes, £4.54, four sandwiches, and one overnight oats. I don't know how well you think that is, but I think that's really good. I'm so sorry the washing machine's on. Maybe I could do this again tomorrow, but I'll go for it anyway when I do like a what I eat for the, the day. But I just want to show it all before I put it all away. But that was Starbucks. Next, we went to Plum Tree Farm and I got two things. Ugh. So, firstly, I got a cake away, which was 2 29 which... If you see the size of these cakes, they're normally about £5. That's the size of one slice, like, next to my head. So, they, we got the carrot cake, which I'm really excited about. Um, let's just open it up. Yeah, I mean, funny or not, I'll, I'll give him a bag to play in. Like, look at that. How massive. Oh, it smells so nice as well. I really like the cakes from there, so probably share that with Owen and my dad at some point this weekend. I feel like we've got a lot of food to get through this weekend, but it's worth it. But yeah, that was 2 29 Then I got, I think this was £3.30 and this was like weekday trimmings from the carvery section. So tub of gravy, which is spilled a bit, lovely. I think this is a big Yorkshire, it is. And then I got this box, which is actually really weighty. It says vegetarian on, so let's open it up and see what we got. I don't know if you can see, but you literally have got stuffing, mashed potatoes, broccoli, like that it looks amazing. I can't wait to eat that. Oh, I'll be my lunch tomorrow. Oh, what a treat. I'm coming back over here because I'm running out of space, but whilst we were waiting at Plum Tree Farm, we saw that Aldi had one, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. It was £3.30, and as you can see, the bag is massive. Although, they made us pay 30p for a bag and just brought it out on a crate, and I was like, I would have rather of them just added 30p and packed it, but, like, why am I packing it myself? <laughs> but, let's see what we got. Everything's kind of falling out the packet, so... We got a sour cream and chive dip, which doesn't actually run out of date until the 22nd of July. And it's, I don't know actually what day it is. The 11th? The 11th. Got these Greek yogurts, which go out on the 19th. Um, again, they've fallen out. These light Greek yogurts. Everything is falling out, but I feel like maybe they sell stuff that like the packaging's broke on. But I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, next, again, packaging has broke, is jelly and custard desserts, like these, three of them, which I think, obviously, they have gelatin in, but my dad would love them. Um, I got this duck and chicken sushi, which my sister will probably have. That does go out of date today, but they can have that tomorrow. Another thing that goes out of date today, rice noodles, again, can eat that tomorrow. Oh, I just dropped all the food. British Chinese leaf. I don't know what that is, but I'll Google what we can make with that. Cheese and bacon crisp bakes. When do they go out of date? They go out of date today as well, but again, someone can eat them tomorrow. Just finding all the things in here. Oh, okay. It went out of date today, but again, someone can have tomorrow. An all day breakfast wrap. I'll see if my dad or Owen want to eat that. Again, for £3.30, this is actually a decent amount of food. Um... I don't know what this is. Maybe it's another sour cream and chive dip, but there's no label for that. And then some Singapore style noodles. So, I mean, for £3.30, got like three desserts, four yogurts, two dips. It is really random food, but I mean, I actually don't think that is bad at all. I'd probably rate that like a four out of five. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with everything that we got and I'm really excited to like eat all of it tomorrow. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have any dessert, so I might have something for dessert. Although, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock, maybe not, literally. I think we left at 
seven. I didn't get back until now, so <laughs> we've been everywhere. <laughs> Although that hot chocolate at the Plum Tree Farm was really good. Good morning. We don't have a wash on for once. Every time I try and film that washing machine, I mean, it's always on. I feel like there's never not a time where we have washing. Um, but it is, I don't know what time it is, half 11? It actually is banged on half 11. I'm psychic, but that must be it. But yeah, finally time to have some breakfast. I always eat really late. I don't know why. I feel like maybe it's an IBS thing. I hate eating in the morning. Hardly ever do it. But yeah, it's time for breakfast. I've eaten only two good to go foods. <laughs> Did I say that right? And I'm not going to lie. I'm not including drinks in this, by the way, just because we didn't actually get any drinks from the free places. Um, I'm probably just going to make a cup of tea, to be honest. I could have a cup of tea. I have decaf tea because I just don't like caffeine. <laughs> Everything is caffeine free in this house. Coke, tea, coffee. Although Owen does have caffeine coffee. I just, I do it. Think I'll take my whiskey knee. Okay, the oven is on, and for my breakfast, I'm actually going to try the Beyond Meat Breakfast Sandwich from Starbucks. I don't know how much this normally is, to be honest, but I got five things for £4.50, which I don't think is bad at all, and I feel like I'm definitely going to go to that Starbucks again, because um, it was different to any Starbucks I've ever been to before. Um, but yeah, it's a juicy plant-based Beyond Breakfast sausage patty with tomato relish. Why can't I speak? <laughs> tomato relish, tofu tofu turmeric egg alternative, and a slice of coconut oil-based cheese alternative. So all fully vegan. I am a vegetarian, which is why I'm not going to try any of the meat stuff I got, but. Owen had the breakfast bacon sandwich last week and this morning and really enjoyed it and he's in the office today and he's taken the barbecue chicken thing so I hope that's nice. I did also give my dad the blueberry muffin to have because he came to see me this morning. Um, but yeah, I've also shared out the, food, the Aldi food with my parents just because a lot of the stuff goes out of date today. So my sister and her boyfriend and my mum and dad, like we can all just share it because it was only £3 as well. So I have kept some of the things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have this. I'm going to put it in the oven for a bit rather than the microwave because my microwave isn't the best. I don't know how long to put it in for, to be honest. But yeah, I've never had anything like this before from Starbucks. So let's try it. This went out of date yesterday. But again, I don't really care about stuff like that. It's only a day. What a little cute mukbang, mukbang, mukbang spot. I'm not going to lie. I am a vegetarian and I eat a lot of vegan food as well. But vegan cheese just like doesn't melt that well and always like makes me feel a bit icky. But we'll give it a go. It's hot enough. It's hot enough to eat. But it looks really good. I actually wonder how much money this would be. Because I've had the sandwiches are around like four or five pound, I want to say, unless I'm lying. So it's basically free. Does anyone else think that sandwiches from Starbucks like all smell the same or something? It's good though. I don't think I've ever had a Beyond Meat sausage patty before, but it's really nice. The cheese is nice. The relish is good. Mmm. I'm really happy with that. And I went to Starbucks again and had this. I'd definitely have this in store if I was there for breakfast. Or if I got another two good to go back, you know. I'm obsessed with them now. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Okay, it is now two o'clock, so I feel like it's lunchtime. I mean, I feel like I'm eating a bit late today, but it's fine. I'm not going to lie, though. I don't really know what I want to have for lunch. 
because I do have the panini, but I feel like because I had like a sandwich thing for breakfast, I feel like I don't really want the panini. And I want to save my carvery for tea or dinner, if you're from the south. But yeah, I have a tomato and mozzarella panini, but I don't know if I just have that like tomorrow or later or I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling this right now. I don't know. I also feel like I need to have a sweet treat because I don't need to, but let's just do it anyway. Probably going to save the big carrot cake for after tea. Um, let's get it out. Me and Owen can have some of this. I'm not going to lie though. It's massive. I feel like Normally when I get these cakes, it's like split into three. So we'll all have like me, my dad and Owen will all have a little three each. Oh, it smells so good though. I can't wait to have that later. But yeah, I don't, I can't decide if I want to have the panini. I'll just have like a pastry and a little, what do you call them? Okay. <sighs> so... We've got the pan of chocolate, lemon and poppy seed muffin, hazelnut cream brookie, brownie cookie, but I feel like me and Owen will both want to try that, so we could probably halve that later, and a chocolate brownie. Or I could just halve them now and wait till he comes back from work, but yeah, probably will have to have the panini, because, ooh, I wonder if I could heat this up in my George Foreman, like, so it feels like a proper panini. But yeah, I could have the Aldi stuff to be fair. But just wasn't really feeling the noodles and everything else had meat in it. So Owen's going to have the crisp bakes tonight for tea. These because they have bacon in. My mum ate the duck and chicken sushi. And to be fair with the noodles, I didn't really have anything that I could have had with it. Because obviously I have like... I've got asparagus and soy sauce and stuff like that, but it didn't come with the too good to go. So I feel like that's cheating. You know what I mean? So yeah, Owen's going to have one of these later and I'll have my panini. If I can get the George form because it's up there, I'm going to have to get a chair. So it's tomato, mozzarella, red pesto and basil. Um, but I mean, it does look really nice to be fair. Can I be bothered to get the George Foreman down? But I feel like it'll look so much better, like, toasted. I'm trying to get, like, a decent angle where you can see the food as well. But also my bins are in the shot, so it's not the nicest. I'm not going to lie. I wish that I'd got, like, a croissant. I got two croissants last week just so I didn't have, like, two sandwiches because I'd never I'd never have a sandwich twice in one day. Um... Although sometimes I probably have had like a corn ham sandwich and then a chip body later. So who am I to lie? But I've also got a Coke Zero and ice. Oh, feels like I'm out now. I'm having a lunch out. But yeah, obviously looks really nice to be honest. I feel like I've had one of these before, but every time I go, I always get a croissant from Starbucks. Like even or... I think it's called the biscuit loaf cake. It's like a Biscoff cake and it's like all cinnamony. I never really get a sandwich from there anymore. So I must have not had one of these in years. But yeah, she's got like spinach, tomato, mozzarella. And I put it on the George Foreman. I feel like, look how nice that looks. I feel like it looks like it's actually come from Starbucks. I know it has, but you know what I mean. Mm. So glad this one has real cheese on it. Mm. It is so good. I'm just really sick of bread. <laughs> but this meal didn't go to waste and that's what matters. It is now four o'clock. I feel like that means I can have a snack. Um, I'm actually starving. But I don't know what I'm going to have. I think I'm going to have a bit of the brownie and a bit of the brookie and kind of like half them. Then Owen can have the other half. And then I'll have a muffin, which I'll probably have for breakfast tomorrow, to be fair. Um, but here's the little brownie. Looks really good, to be fair. A small brownie, I'm not going to lie. And then the brookie, which 
looks amazing but yeah i'm gonna half them so owen can try them too because i'm just i'm just a good girlfriend like that also i'm sort of sick of the washing machine being on all the time but it is what it is we'll just wash too many things one night only use a little one I'm giving myself the bigger pieces though. Oh, actually, I think I've done that really well. Down the middle. Hmm. There we go. I've made myself like a little brownie. <laughs> oh, but they look really good though. I'll save the other halves for Owen. But let's give them a try. I've never had either of these. I'm not even have like the brownie. Mm. Whatever this is, this brookie. What is it actually called? Hazelnut cream. Oh, hazelnuts on top. Hazelnut cream brookie. You need to go try it. That is so good. But yeah, I'm going to finish these off. Watch some youtube while i finish the rest of work off when i'm so glad it's a friday but wow that brookie is so good i love that the cookie like buttery base it's kind of like a cheesecake base i don't know it's really nice really really good brownie's all right too to be fair but it's just a brownie it's it's not half brownie or cookie it's literally six o'clock and now the dryer is on like i actually can't win can't win with filming but we're getting what time is it it's six o'clock and i feel like i'm gonna stop making my food now um just got owens on the go he's having some of them crisp bakes which look nice i love them i would have had them if they didn't have bacon in to be fair but yeah i'm just gonna microwave my food or i could put it in the oven for a bit actually let's see let's see i'm unsure if the gravy is um vegetarian or not because everything else says veggie on it um i just don't know so i don't know if to risk it and just have some of it or not risk it at all because i don't think i have any gravy left but let's get everything out i've got a roast something Oh, nice little roasty there. There's going to be like no meat or no vegetarian option for a meat alternative on this because it's just the trimmings, but I'm okay with that. I'm all right with it. Look at that though, and I feel like this is really good as well. But yeah, let's play it up. With the annoying sound of all the sounds going on in here, hey? I'm hoping the stuffing is vegetarian, but it did say, it literally says vegetarian on it. So we've got parsnip, carrots. Oh, they look so good. I've not had a roast in so long. Oh, I hope I can eat all this. Don't want to waste anything. And then the two like big boiled potatoes. Um, I'm not gonna lie though, I might leave them because look at all this mash. <laughs> I might have the mash and I'll leave them potatoes and then if I want them later I can just have them later um just because I feel like I'd rather have the mash right now and I'm not going to eat all that potato um and Owen doesn't like potatoes weirdly but I just want a big plate of food That's how loud it is for a door. But it's now time for cake, and I better not drop this off. <laughs> I think we're just going to share this. I don't know if I might just put it into thirds. Oh, but it smells so good. I haven't had a carrot cake in so long. I'm going to try the little carrot on top. 
Hope you can't eat this. It's chocolate. Oh my god, that's so good. Is it nice? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of like the frostings on a carrot cake, but I do like the actual cake. Mm. Nice. Mm. I forgot to finish this video yesterday. I'm literally in pajamas and just put a hoodie, like a jumper over the top because I'm so cold today. Um, just been out, but it's just been chucking it down. Um. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I spent around £16 on everything in the end. Um, but we still have like a few things left. We didn't finish our cakes yesterday, so we have quite a bit of that to eat left because that car was so filling. We've got like some of the Starbucks left, but yeah. Honestly, I definitely recommend doing Too Good To Go. I'm obsessed with it. Me and my mum kind of do it like every Thursday at the minute and we love it. Um, but yeah, I think it was around £16 and we got like more than enough food for like basically four of us because Owen had it for breakfast, lunch and a dessert. My dad and my mum took like the noodles, they had that um, and the jelly and custard things that I got from Aldi. But yeah, we still have like the Greek yogurts left, the sour cream and chive dip and everything like that. So I even have a muffin left, which I'm really excited to have. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want me to do another one where we can test out some more places. I bet it'd be so good to do in like Manchester or Liverpool or somewhere because around here they don't have loads of options, but we could make it work. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.